Good morning, everybody. It's tea time, bitches. Yes. Oh, that blue thing is my little ice cube. My wine is a little warm. But I have topics to get to, honey. Yes. So, today's topic is blaming your parents for the life you have now. So, I'm going to rephrase that. Should you be be able to blame your parents for how your life turned out or not. Now this is very dear to me. My Puerto Rican butter pecan sister. Okay, Miss Nadia. Yes, honey. One of my tea time fans. Not fans. I like to call y'all my tea time pe peeps. Okay. Anyway. So, here's what I'm just going to give my opinion and my experience and then I'm also going to talk about the other side um for me maybe you shouldn't at some point you do have to take accountability for yourself and for your own actions however comma here's my story and I am not trying to downgrade my mom whatsoever or you know I'm um, not trying to put her out there like that or nothing. So I'm going to be very vague in what I say. I'm not going to detail too much, but I'm going to paint the story and you'll get it. So for me, I feel as though in my life, starting from very young, um, the, 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 the choice that my mom made, with whom she wanted to be with, it directly affected me to the utmost, to this day. So, this person punched me in my eye. This person sexually abused me. I'm trying not to get emotional either because I think I'm all grown up, but... um. And for me, it was a trickle-down effect. So we had the sexual abuse, the physical abuse, then the physical abuse enabled me, not enabled me, it, it, it took away my chances of getting skipped because I was in a hospital. It um, took away a lot of my self-esteem. Um, it, 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 it continued on to high school where I didn't feel comfortable in school because I was being teased about my injury from the physical abuse. Um, also, the sexual abuse made me a promiscuous young lady that was looking for love in all the wrong places. Um, also, when the physical abuse happened, I began to drink because I had no, I, I didn't know what to do. I was sad. I was soaking. I was going through stuff. And that turned into, here the trickle down effect. And, I, and listen, before I say that, mind your business and don't say nothing to me. I don't want to hear nobody talk about something. Uh, uh, don't, don't, you shouldn't be. I don't want to hear none of that. I'm telling you my story and that's that, okay? You have your comments about the the the, the situation itself, but not about me. I don't want to hear it, okay? Because it's not going to. I'm just saying like that. I don't mean it in no kind of way. I'm just saying because I'm not going to change unless I want to. So, here's the other trickle down effect. So, I started drinking at 12. The incident happened January 22nd, 1998. I started drinking within that month to February, whatever. And um, if anybody know P. God and, and Ike and Gregory, God bless his soul. God bless both of their souls. You know, I started, I had my first drink with them. They was like, yo, just come, let me just have a drink. You know what I'm saying? You know, boom, 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 you know? Because I was hurting. Anyway. In that same year, uh, September of 1998, I was diagnosed with a liver disease. Okay? And unfortunately, um, to this day, something that I'm struggling with, it has turned into a lot more severe situation. I'm not going to put myself... I, I'll tell y'all about that one day, but I don't want this to be based, based on that and the sympathy. I don't want nobody's sympathy. I'm good. Okay? But... Um, I might not have that much time left on earth, right? So how can I not be still upset? However, comma, again, 
I did forgive my mother. Why? Because I understand as a parent, we don't get a book. You know, we don't get a second chance to do things over when we made a mistake. And our choices, yes, we can make bad choices, we can make good choices. So I love my mother dearly, but it wasn't like that for a long time. I'm 35 years old. I might have just, just forgave her five years ago, to be quite honest. And I blamed her for everything. Like I said, in my situation, it was a trickle-down effect. Now, had it just only been one thing, and, you know, I was good throughout my life moving forward, but I chose different things, you know, then I could see. And I can't say that I blame her for me drinking, but it's just the only outlet I had. I didn't have anybody, you know, comforting me and telling me everything was going to be okay. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, but she did get me counseling. I was just too angry. So, for me, I feel like, um, you know, in certain situations, yes, the child is going to be mad at the parent. And, yes, they're going to feel like a lot of different things happen in their life because of this particular thing that the parent allowed or did or this, that, and the third. So, yes, I'm, I'm on the side of, yes. However, you, when you grow up and when you have forgiveness in your heart and you know that forgiveness is the key to life because it also helps, it, 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 it doesn't, it's not necessarily for the other person, it is really for yourself. Then you realize that you have to let go of the hurt. You have to let go of the pain. And so that's my take on. Do you get to, you know, blame your parents for your, your life that you're living now? You know, um, you, you may have a legit reason. But as a human being, as a person who will make their own mistakes, and, that, and then your children are going to, you know what I'm saying, then have things that they want to say to you that that happen in their lives or whatever you know you got to take accountability and you got to realize that nobody is perfect and um you know that's that peace